All right, guys, went well, back today with a brand new bulletproof backpack offering from Guard Dog Armor. I've been reviewing pretty much everything they've put out for the past few years, and I've fallen in love with this company, especially for high value and budget armor solutions that actually work. They've truly dispelled the myth that you need to spend a lot of money to get reliable body armor. And honestly, they've been an industry leader in that high value and budget category for a wide variety of body armor solutions, everything from bulletproof backpacks like we're looking at today to basic traditional body armor solutions, soft panels, as well as ballistically rated helmets that all just blow me away at the quality and performance at the price. So I'm super excited about the brand new release of their latest backpack backpack offering. It's a little bit more toned down than the tactical backpack they offered before, but a little bit more versatile than one of their sleek and kind of discreet gray man offerings, bridging the gap between just a good all-around backpack that doesn't scream tactical to everybody around you. They've also included a drop-down menu now to add three different plate options and, the again, keeping that high value and affordability in mind. So the prices start at $149 with the backpack in a level 3A 11 by 15 plate. After you add the code 704 Tactical for 10% off, it drops the price down to $135 for the backpack with that 11 by 15 panel which is an impressive deal when you consider most panels alone, level 3A rated panels, are selling for way above that. Even some get close to that, but they don't include the backpack, and you're getting a quality backpack, as you'll see in a minute. They also have the level 3 UH, uh, well, it's the ultra high molecular weight polyethylene. I don't know why it's easier for me to say that than the letters. I just get tongue-tied, but it's a 10 by 12 plate, and that actually weighs 2.9 pounds that's an ultra light white lightweight plate it's going to be rifle rated so when you're considering that it's going to be 2.9 pounds for the entire setup and that comes in at 249 dollars then you take that 10 percent off code dropping the price down to 225 that's that's a level three rifle rated backpack plate and backpack for $225 after my code. And then they also have the flexible option of the level three plus plate if you wanna take things incredibly serious. The level three plus plate stops some insane stuff and that's their Versa plate, which is actually semi-flexible and that's what's in here. So it actually flexes around. It's a pretty interesting technology. If you want more information about any of these armor solutions, I've got full reviews on my channel. I'll try to link those in the description below to see what they can actually stop. But every single level that they have has always definitely stopped what they say they're going to stop and honestly stopped a little bit more. So it's just a good solid armor solution. This last one, the Versa plate comes in at 319 if you want that level three plus protection. Honestly, for me, some of my favorites is grabbing this with the level 3A for EDC carry. Just everyday carry, you can add that level 3A plate, and that's 1.5 pounds. It's almost non-existent when you're talking about a backpack. And then if you want that uh, 10 by 12 plate, that 2.9 pounds gives you that rifle rated feel, and that's going to be perfect for your basic average rifle threats. Now, if you're in a high threat environment and you really want that level 3 plus, it's nice that they offer that, and it's still a lightweight and flexible design at 5.1 pounds, so something to consider for every single option. So we've talked about that armor, and we've talked about the price ranges, but you can get into this backpack starting at about $135 with the level 3A plate. Now let's talk about the specs and features of the pack itself. And one of the first things I want to notice is the molly attachments, and the webbing is actually this laser cut webbing, which is going to be pretty darn streamlined sleek and not as uh, not as screaming out tactical as your basic molly attachments with camo it's got that black right there but it also has a lot of these spots where you can clip on a water bottle and things like that so i love that right there it also has a velcro spot up here where you can put whatever patch you want and then right here in the front i love this zippered pouch it's actually felt lined internally which is perfect for a cell phone so i like the idea of sliding your cell phone or maybe um, an mp3 player or something like that in there zipping it up letting the cord run out and listening to your headphones so you can be walking through something and have something right there this is also nice if you're going backpacking or you're hiking in the field you can 
can put your GPS or your, your nicer electronics that you want to access rather quickly, but also have that padded compartment. And all the zippers are done incredibly nice. These are super smooth and rather quiet zippers. So you can see they're just improving on a lot of um, just basic backpacks and they're really taking a step up. It also has compression straps on the side so you can cinch everything down if you've loaded this up. And then this has the side compartment, which I like. So you can use this for a water bottle, which most people are gonna use, but it also has Velcro on the sides to seal something up if you wanted to slide something in. So when you set it down, it just doesn't roll out and fall out. So it's kind of a, a double edge right there. The main compartment in the front has a lot of, oh, I should say the, the front admin pocket has a lot of options right here. You can see a mesh in the front. It's got different pockets and different things that you can attach things, slide a radio in, pens, knives, things like that, change coins. And it also has this strap right here. Again, you can clip something in. So that's pretty slick. You can use your imagination for a wide variety of things right there. And then the main large compartment here is pretty slick as well because it opens up and then it's just a large compartment with a keeper right here. If you wanted to slide your shoes in, clothes or something like that, if you're going on a trip, you wanna throw your dirty clothes in there and keep your clean clothes outside here. It's got a mesh pocket right there. And then it's got a, the actual armor pocket right here in the back. So you open this up and I've got the uh, Versa plate slid in right there so you can see how well that works. Now flipping around, the straps are rather thick they're not overly large and they flex very nicely. Again, you've got some spots to attach a carabiner and compression straps to cinch everything down. It also has these very large padded spots right here. Now, when we're talking about comfort with plates, this backpack is incredibly comfortable with the level 3A plates because they're obviously super flexible. When you start adding rigid plates, it starts feeling like you're putting books inside a backpack. So you're kinda, your comfort goes down if this was an EDC pack. So that's something to consider. But if you're already putting a few books in there anyway, you're getting a more rigid backpack. Uh, that's also gonna be nice because it's got some padding right here to absorb that cushion and allows airflow and channels through the sides and back so your back doesn't overheat for like long hiking and it keeps it well ventilated. Something people also don't consider is when you're using this as a bulletproof backpack, you can flip this around and use it as a plate carrier for chest protection. And then back face deformation is key. And back face deformation means when the round hits the plate, it actually bulges out the back in certain circumstances with certain plates, like a 357 Magnum with a soft plate. This actually gives you almost an inch gap between the plate and your body, allowing it to absorb the back face deformation and saving you even more from knocking the wind out of you, crush, stopping your heart, crushing your lungs, things like that. This is going to give you that added protection from back face deformation with a wide variety of round strikes on the different plates available. It also has this really awesome paracord handle at the top. I love something like this. I love the idea of this, especially for a survival situation or a bug out situation. You're gonna have that on the top right there. And overall, just a quality backpack in my opinion for a wide variety of tasks. The last thing I wanna say too is it also has some spots on the bottom if you wanted to cinch everything down. So this is gonna pull the bottom down, but it also, in my opinion, allows you to attach something at the bottom of your pack, whether it be a roll-up poncho or something like that that you wanna carry every day that may be wet and you don't necessarily wanna set it in your backpack. This has the option not only to cinch down the bottom of the backpack, but to store those as well. Also has drain holes in the bottom if you were to spill a water bottle or water gets in your backpack it's going to drain out the bottom and not collect and gather so another nice feature in summary a very awesome uh, armor backpack solution from guard dog armor when you start looking at more premium backpacks the prices climb up to about 60 70 well over 200 dollars for some options and that's without the armor plate when you consider you can get this with a level 3a plate for as low as 135 after my code 704 tactical that's just blown me away at the quality and performance that Guard Dog Armor is producing. And again, you can get a level three rifle rated plate with the backpack for 225 after my code. So the options are endless. I'm glad they're improving. They don't remain stagnant. I'm getting text messages all the time saying, hey, we're doing something new. Do you wanna see it? Hey, we're doing something new. What do you think about this? And I love that about this company. So again, all of the information, linking and codes will be in the description below. Thanks for watching guys. Have a good one.